IL2 Cliffs of Dover Desert Wings. Let's create a mission and play it. Um, after you start the game, go into the full mission builder. Um, you don't need the first dialog box, just close it out and go into your file maps. Pick out the map you want. Um, I like Desert Wings, so I went into uh, North Africa. And the point of interest will be the Siege of Tobruk. Uh, so we can move the map around. Uh, we can make it bigger or smaller. And we could move it around with the cursor. It's pretty detailed. It's got a lot of airfields close by and at Tobruk. The next thing we need to learn how to do is use the objects browser and it's at the very top left under view you pick objects and there's like three boxes to pick aircraft static or flyable and there's a, a tree list with everything in the game on it so that's where you pick out units and right now I'm, I'm creating an airfield with trucks. And if you pick a truck like this Opal and then hit your keyboard number keys, uh, the outboard ones, it'll, it'll move the truck around. And then when you're done, click unselect. You can also assign which country the vehicle belongs to. And if you notice, I placed some bombs uh, by the aircraft uh, to make it look like it's being loaded out. And if we hit the enter key while we have a item highlighted, you can see it on the map up close. Really nice feature. So you can make adjustments accordingly. Uh, just hit your enter key again. And when you float back up, uh, highlight the unit and just move it where you need it to be. Pretty neat feature. All right, it's starting to look like an RAF airfield. Now from the objects browser, we're gonna place a JU-87 on the map. And we're gonna assign it an altitude what it's armed with and how many in the flight. So we're going to go with three and in the objects browser we can look at the aircraft, assign a desert skin to it, and then right click an additional waypoint and it's going to be towards our RAF airfield. So we'll click on right there, just in front of the parked aircraft. And check the loadout. There we go. Now at the waypoint, we're going to assign a target. So let's zoom in. You can scroll in, scroll out. And there's our second waypoint. And at this point, we'll select its flight action to bomb this target here. And how to bomb it. 
JU-88s are notorious dive bombers. And we'll make it all in one pass. And we'll target the opal. Uh, but all the bombs in that general area should take out most every unit there. And we'll make the action uh, after waypoint two. So we'll move waypoint two back a little bit. So we'll give the planes time to react. All right, let's end. Let's end the getting started part and let's fly the mission. Uh, we assigned ourselves a 109 E7 and our mission is to knock out a AAA battery so our Stukas can make it to their targets and provide high cover. So we're armed with four 50 kilogram bombs and we're gonna line up on a Bofors 40 millimeter AAA gun and two out. And we're right on target. Oh, and our Stukas. They just nuked. The uh, aircraft parked on the ground. Pretty impressive. Now, that action triggered um, a flight of RAF hurricanes. And we'll get into that in another video. Um, the RAF hurricanes uh, have been assigned to go after the Stuka light. So we're going to see how well the AI goes. Uh, we've assigned our wingmen to attack enemy fighters. So here we go. And we're putting out 30 caliber machine guns. And the hurricane is taking evasive throttle back a little bit and power up and so we can match the hurricanes maneuvers our wingmen are taking shots as well and we're putting out some 20 millimeter cannons very impressive sound and there goes the hurricane All right, flash one. All right, let's look for targets. We've got some hurricanes closing in our, our Suka flight. And we got one smoking. And pretty devastating hit. We're gonna break off. I uh, dumped all my bombs. I have 250 kilogram bombs left. And I'll line up on air base fuel storage tanks. Bombs out. And we got it right in the target area. So we're getting better with the dive bombing. When I first started, it didn't look too good. Moving up ahead in the battle. on a pair of hurricanes. And they're pretty fixated. Uh, they don't react till I'm right on top of them. There goes the big guns. All right, we're gonna break off, go after his wingman. It's trailing smoke, easy to find. I'm pulling a lot of G's. We scored a 
support some more hit. Oh, get out, man. Get out! Splash Hurricane. All right. We're closing in on the, I think the last uh, fighter. Scored some more hits. And here's something uh, uh, about IL to put some Dover. I, I'm just using the pat switch and the F4 key uh, to padlock, and it works very well. Um, you, you can make this game work without track IR if, if you learn how to use the hat switch uh, and the F4 key. Uh, you gotta press the F9 key to activate the hat switches. It's just in case you're, uh, you don't think they're assigned, just press the F9 key and then activate the hat switch move. We got guns out. Force some hits. Getting low on ammo. We're gonna break off. And Tommy's down. All right, guys. Let's take her into the base. Um, I hope you like this uh, introduction to mission building. It's very similar to IL-2 1946, um, but I'm still learning. I'm gonna post this mission uh, where you can download it and play it, and you can even open it up with a mission builder and see how it's set up. Uh, I hope you look into it and let me know what you think. And touchdown made it back to base. And you can tell we got that narrow landing gear. It's it's really squirrely. Uh, we got the tail wheel locked back and we're just giving it little pops of the brakes and uh, maintaining control. Well, not a bad flight. Let's check our score. Let's look at the numbers. We got great results and our bomb hits were on target. We lost one friendly Stuka. Well guys, I hope you like this mission. I hope you try the game. Please subscribe. Uh, there's no Patreon, no T-shirts. I can support myself. Anyway, I'll be following up with some more uh, Mission Builder videos. So we'll see you up again soon.